Hi, welcome to Flukatronic. Up now we're going to take another new instrument look. This is a Mojave 6 rimblown flute from Mike Turner. It's made out of walnut wood. It's in the key of B minor. Uh, it's a B aeolian minor or natural minor scale. And we'll get into later actually how I'm going to think of this. But let's um, start with how to get a sound, how to hold the flute, and how to get a sound out of it. Um, now, if you're used to low whistles, this technique will maybe be more familiar to you. I actually don't get along <laughs> too well with low whistle. Uh, I sold the low, only low D I had. Um, but to really be comfortable, you really have to use a Piper's grip on this. Uh, you can see I can I can get um, pads in my fingers, but it's not in natural position. Um, so you can either use the top three fingers, and to do that, kind of put the the pad of your ring finger on, and then kind of angle it down the tube, like like that. It's going to be a more um, more ergonomic position now. I've been playing this with my pinky actually in the top two, so that is another option, whichever feels more comfortable. Um, I think the three first three finger version is actually better for for wrist angle. So I'm going to take some more experimentation to see what's what's the the best way to do this. Um, it is finger stretch for me it is rather large. Um, so it's going to take some getting used to, but let's just take your grip. Um, balances very well in the hand. Now, getting a sound out of these, there's there's other um, other YouTube sites that uh, you can go to 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 see about getting a sound. Uh, some will recommend playing in front of a mirror to try and get um, get get your mouth shaped right. What's working for me on this one? is to uh, put it up to my mouth, uh, make the embouchure, which is kind of a, uh, a flat, more flat um, lip shape, and start blowing. Now, your, your breath has to cut this cutting edge. So what I'm going to show you that's working for me is to put it up, blow, and then use my other hand to feel the wind and a lot of times what, what will happen is that I don't feel the wind going over the top of the flute at all which means I'm blowing straight down the tube I'm not going to get a sound so uh, when that happens what I'll do is just push the flute down just a little bit till I can feel that flow and then then I can usually get the sound so let's see what happens Now that's actually the second octave, which is not bad because you want to get used to that too. But a lot of time, and you might find it diff different. But if you happen to get that high high octave sound, just go with it and uh, just play around with the the angle uh, of the flute to to your chin and kind of just mouth positioning. It takes a lot of trial and error. You can't really teach this. You just got to figure it out. <clears throat> you just got to figure it out for yourself. But as soon as you can get a sound, go ahead and drop the second, um, your, your bottom hand onto the flute and just, uh, just play around with it. And oftentimes um, I'll find if I hit that upper octave first, just um, opening the mouth just a little bit will we'll drop down into the, the first register. So let's uh, try again.
So hey, I got the, got the whole scale out that time. So uh, yeah, this is a very quiet flute, very good for um, just kind of sitting on the couch and uh, uh, just playing around, seeing what you can do with it. Um, so yeah, as I said, this is a natural minor scale. Um, and how I'm going to choose to think of this is maybe a little bit different because I have to think of all of my flutes in the key of C in one way or another. So if I go to NAF, uh, Native American style flute, um, I cut my C is really the second hole. So an A NAF has a C in that second hole. So it's kind of a C major scale up from there. But for this, I'm going to consider this in the key of C minor. So my notes will be C, D, E flat, and then the upper hand would be F, G, A flat, and then B flat would be all notes, um, all fingers off. And the reason I'm going to do that is because um, that is the natural scale of another new instrument I got in. This was the last video I posted of a uh, shall in the key of C. And I'll see if I can play these back to back. <laughs> uh, they're, they're definitely different techniques, so we'll see. But the F, F, G, A flat is the left hand of the shall as well. And then again on the Mojave. Now this is half a step down, so it won't be the exact same notes, but you should be able to hear the same interval, assuming I can actually play it. Obviously, obviously you can see I've had the shower a little bit longer. Um, it's easier to play for me. Uh, just the embouchure of the, the shower for me comes in. Uh, just be honest, it's a lot easier for me to play than, than the Mojave. Um, but this is a, a good flute, um, maybe as an introduction towards uh, the rimblown Native American style, uh, as long as you can, can deal with the stretch. Um, now, I had another flute from Mike that's in a higher key, so a C sharp, um, different scale, but it was a starting at C sharp. It was a narrow bore, and to be honest, I just could not get used to that thing, so I sold it to someone who um, hopefully will. And then I got this um, wider bore from Mike, and, and he indicated, yeah, these are easier to to play, and I definitely found that to be true. It's easier to get. Um, sound out of this one had was getting sounds out of this the first couple of minutes um, the stretch is a challenge for me so we'll work on that and um you know if i, if I can't get used to it then then i'll i'll sell this one on to somebody as well but um shout out to mike a uh, great looking flute sounds uh the way it should and uh it's just a matter of me trying to get used to it so <laughs> uh thanks that's all for today